Hello and thank you for joining us here on 11 Sports. Tonight, Chattanooga hosts the LA Force inside of Finley Stadium. I'm Gabriel Shry, Simon Neal here alongside me to bring you all of the action in tonight's contest. On Wednesday, Chattanooga FC picked up three crucial points on the road in a 2-1 victory over Albion San Diego. CFC fought back from behind with goals from Marcus Nagelstad and Alex McGrath overturning a halftime deficit. Simon, that was a big win for CFC and they're looking to repeat that success here tonight. Absolutely, you're right, Gabriel. It was a, a good move for getting four points out of six on the road against the games against uh, Cal United, who always a, a challenge because they're fighting us at the top of the league and uh, against Albion San Diego, who played very well indeed. But yeah, when they went down to 10 men, they ended up uh, losing the advantage a little bit and we, uh, we got back the goals. So yeah, four points out of six in the road isn't too bad, especially with the, uh, the jet lag and the heat because it was pretty hot in California in the 90s. Tonight, it's a beautiful 72 degrees here in Chattanooga. A bit overcast, but that's okay. It's better for the players. We've still got a few hooligans who made the flight out to California to watch the game. You probably saw their pictures on social media. They're all sunburnt to heck. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, it's great to be back at Finley Stadium. Sorry I wasn't here the last couple of weeks. It's great to be here again with everybody. Um, Gabriel, I'll tell you a bit about the game tonight, about LA Force. We've got a um, few keys from the match tonight. We've got uh, the cause of the night, it's Lana's Love Foundation. We'll be talking to them at half time. And uh, keys for the match are what I've got from talking to the players and the coaches. Um, we're going to build on the good results from being on the road. We're going to stay focused and not get it complacent. And we're going to go what Ian Serro said. Keep believing and reminding ourselves about our principles, our identity and our culture to take us where we want to be. That was a great quote from Ian. Simon, those are fantastic keys to the match. Tonight's keys to the match delivered to you by Simon Neal personally are being brought to you by Southern Honda Power Sports. Fantastic keys right there. Simon, if you had to pick one player to be the player to watch here in tonight's contest, who would you tell fans to keep an eye on? Well, obviously, Mark Snagwistat, the leader in the Golden Boots. That's a pretty That's easy one. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy one. Thank you for an easy question. <laughs> we'll step aside for the playing of the American National Anthem. A beautiful rendition of the American National Anthem here prior to this kick of Nisa Soccer. Tonight's broadcast being presented by Food City. Chattanooga FC, Cal United coming up here in just a moment. Uh, excited to see what the force can bring to the table here all the way from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Simon, this is going to be a great match. Absolutely right. I'm looking forward to seeing how they do. Let's go through the starting 11s now. 
take us to that one, Gabriel. Starting 11 here for Chattanooga and lots of names to watch. We already talked about a, a couple of players, talked about Nagelstad. LA Force led by Leon Scharf, Quintanilla back there. Rivas Jr. Tour, Villa Toro, Gomez, Guerrera, Flores, many names to keep an eye on here in the starting 11 for the LA Force. And the starting 11 for the Chattanooga Football Club. Lots of great names here as well, as I mentioned, Nagelstad. Alex McGrath had a goal last time out, mm -hmm. so definitely a name to keep an eye on here tonight. And we spoke to Rod Underwood just before the contest, and he sounded like he was feeling great, Simon. He really was. Uh, confident as always. No real injuries to the players, so he's got the whole squad to pick from. And um, very much a familiar format. He's going with a 4-3-3. Uh, Kevin Gonzalez in goal at the back. Travis Ward, Nick Spielman, Colin Stripling and Tate Robertson. Uh, in the middle, Ian Serrow, Richard Dixon, the captain, Alex McGrath on the other wing. And then up front, Taylor Gray, Mark Nagelstadt, Brett Jones are solid, really, all the way through the team that has played together through most of the season. So uh, everybody knows where to be, where their buddy's going to be to pass back to. So, yeah, good-looking squad. Um, just going to sort out the uh, which direction they're going to play from, Chattanooga going to play from the left to right. Chattanooga, of course, in all dark blue for their home strip tonight. LA Force in all white. So it should be easy to spot which team is which, even if you're watching in black and white at home, you can still tell which one's which. Um, don't worry about all the other yellow marks in the field. That's from the, uh, the mocks football. They're still playing on the regular soccer pitch. Uh, so we are sharing at the moment with the mocks. So that's why we have <laughs> football and football on the field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the uniforms here tonight. Great look for this NISA league matchup. We talked a little bit about them coming back with four points from California after mm -hmm. their stint out there. Right. Um, and they needed three. Those were critical points, those four they captured. For Absolutely. Securing a and it was five. very interesting to watch because we started off with a 2 0 lead um, in, in the first game against Cal United and thought well, this is going to be a good one. And we, uh, we took our foot off the gas a bit and they got two goals back and uh, ended up with just a point. There should really have been three from that one. But the second game, a bit more focus and uh, despite going a goal down, we came back strong and ended up with three points. So four points out of six isn't too bad. Six would have been great, but hey, four is good, and it keeps us in contention with Cal United. Both teams very much nose to nose at the top of the league. You probably noticed the league has changed a little bit uh, over the last couple of weeks. It's now down to the playoff structure, and it shows that the top eight teams, the top six will go through to the playoffs. Obviously, CFC looks to be one of those teams, as we often are, most years. So uh, that's why the table looks a bit different we see in the whole nation, not just the east and west sides. So that's what's going on with that. So pay attention to the table. We're both on 36 points, Cal United and the CFC. Uh, clear of Michigan Stars in third by nine points. LA Force, uh, again, actually down seventh out of the eight. They'd like to get some points too. So play's underway. Off we go, Gabriel. Let's go. <laughs> we are underway here inside of Finley Stadium. Chattanooga FC with the ball first. Doing battle tonight here with... Los Angeles Force. For anyone just joining us, thank you for being with us on 11 Sports. Gabriel Shry here with Simon Neal. This one on the far side of the field, working it back quickly. Chattanooga FC, they had a deep kick right away there. Rainbow ball up the field and elected to reset a little bit here, get ready for an attack. Force sending this one back into the middle third of the field. A little bit of space to work with here on this two-on-two -two run. Trying to feed that inside, finessing it there, and defender out, parked out front. Yeah, blockers away. The nice block by Richard Dixon there, got his body right on the line on that one. So it didn't let uh, the force get the early goal, and it's out for a goal kick. So you chance to go. We were saying a bit about Marcus Nagwish that earlier. He's on 15 league goals so far for the season. Currently the Golden Boot leader by some distance, six goals ahead of his nearest rival. So, uh, hoping that uh, Marcus can keep up his good form and get us a goal tonight. He's getting a goal every 96 minutes. Isn't that unbelievable? Simon CFC trying to work this away from the touchline on the far side here. Early on in these contests here in the Nisa League, what kind of things should we expect out of CFC in the force? Are they going to put the pedal to the metal, play high octane here early on, and cool off as this first half of action wears on, or are they going to start slow and heat up? I think the weather's certainly going to help. They're probably uh, going to speed up as the game goes on. There's always this feeling out each other in the first few minutes of the game, and uh, it looks like the force set up fairly defensively at the moment. Um, obviously, no Chattanooga is a strong team and they don't want to give too much away early on in the game. 
and they have that psychological disadvantage of going a goal down or something like that. So they're going to be a little defensive up to Chattanooga, I think, to unlock the defence, which, as we know, is something they can do pretty well, as we've seen over the season. Cooper sends it over to Spielman. He'll get this one started. Don't forget, Gabriel, LA Force coming off a loss to Michigan Stars on Wednesday night. That's a 1 0 loss. And before that, they tied uh, one each with Albion San Diego. So they are looking to try and get something going. And uh, at least one point, if not three. So they aren't going to settle for holding back. Yeah, and Simon, those are tough games to coast to those they ties are. and a loss. Yep. And yep. That wears on a club, and they're probably tired in the, in the middle of this stint. Absolutely. At the end of the season, there's always going to be tired legs because this, this is when the, the stamina and the mental stamina comes in as well. Um, and we're going to see that a bit. We saw that a little bit during the week with the games in California. You can see the uh, both sides getting a little tired at the end. Into the third minute here, trying to finesse this one between a pair of defenders, and it is cleared away over the touchline. CFC will maintain possession. Pass Dixon over to McGrath. Wrath from the center of the pitch here. Works this up along the touchline. Back to Dixon. Halley Force playing the high line, as you can see. They're trying to keep the uh, Chattanooga attackers from running in behind them. So there's going to be some extra skill required to get in behind them. You see how uh, CFC midfield ha handles that. Gutierrez is able to break that one up. Gray had an attack underway up there, trying to get it down. Zone. Now Dixon with it, being harassed from behind. It's a nice ball, McGrath onside. Could be a bit of a chance here. Cross kick looking for Gray, and this one headed away carefully by the force. Chattanooga regathers, and a blast on net. This one goes high and wide. Travis Ward trying to get a bit of glory there, but <laughs> didn't quite come off. <laughs> Ward from Ocean County, New Jersey. Already halfway through this fourth minute of action. So first corner of the, uh, the game for CFC on the far side. This is a Chick-fil-A corner. See how uh, they set this one up. Usually it's going to be McGrath and Cerro over the corner kicks here on Deadpool specialists. You know what they say, Simon? Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken. That's what they say. This one inbounded. CFC battling this one on the far side, centering ball here, and Gray went for the header. Yeah, I think it already gone out, Marcus Nagelstadt couldn't quite keep it in the line. Great defensive effort up front by the force right there. Andrew Benitez right in there helping to bring pressure against CFC, who is set up all around the front of the net. Getting started here offensively, getting to work. Simon, tell me your thoughts on these keepers here tonight. Obviously, two of the most important pieces of these programs, these clubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, as we always know, the keepers are always our last line of defense, and also they have that unique perspective of being looking up the field all the time, they're never looking behind them. So. Um, a lot of teams pick a, a goalkeeper as they captain. Um, Chattanooga not doing that tonight. They have Richard Dixon, of course, is in the middle of the field. But nevertheless, a lot of them do that because of that visibility. But, uh, yeah, the keeper is you know, so important. Um, he's encouraging his players. He's seeing gaps that maybe they're not seeing. And uh, when he gets the, the kick in into play, then he's, uh, he's picking where the ball goes. So, yeah, terribly important. Good feed to the close side there. Gray trying to deke around a defender. In a bit of trouble here as the force are able to strip this one away and now the clearing kick. Great defensive effort by LA right there. Bill Toro, the one who was able to clear that offensive pressure CFC had put together. They're going to try and get set up for another attack here. Gray again on the close side. Centers it. 
Bit of a chance for CFC, and they will find the twine. It's 1-0 Chattanooga Football Club. <laughs> An early goal. I told you, keep an eye on Marcus Nagelstadt. That's the first goal in the seventh minute. Marcus Nagelstad, his 16th goal of the season. An unbelievable performance. That really is solidifying. That's the right word to use for the golden boot. Good feed there from Travis Ward. Nagelstadt slots it into the corner. Keeper's nowhere near it. What a great goal. So Chattanooga won. LA Force nil after eight minutes of play. Absolutely beautiful play right there. Quick move, fed it back door. Got to say the fans are loving that. <laughs> Very excited. The hooligans are making a stack of noise. Hope you're hearing it on the uh, audio at home. They really are having a good time down there. And Simon, a pretty good turnout, especially considering mm -hmm. the weather. Absolutely. It's, it's a good showing tonight. Um, and there are also other events on tonight. There's uh, the music festival going on as well and quite a lot of things that are like there always are in Chattanooga. Lots to do the weekends in this town. So, yep, the, a lot of folks spending their time here in Chattanooga enjoying this, and our new folks home enjoying it too. Got to do a quick shout out to uh, our buddy Henry up in Smelly Morning, and still staying up late to watch the games, Henry. Thank you, sir, for staying with us late at night. Um, anybody else watching, you know, around the world or somewhere else, let us know. Say hi on social media, let us know you're watching. Um, yeah, but a good start for Chattanooga now. If you want to see some more games, um, Chattanooga away, September the 18th on a Sunday to Michigan Stars, and we're back here September 24th. To Flower City, we're back here again the following Wednesday against Albion San Diego. So, quite a few more home games, and hopefully, we'll be in the playoffs, and there'll be some playoff action too. We bring you all that live on 11 Sports every game played at Finley Stadium. We'll bring it to you every minute of every game. Well, Gray was making his uh, way up the pitch there before the call. side along the touchline. Now a laser pass up the field to Gray. El Toro trying to strip that away. Dixon creating some space there. The feed goes to the far touchline. Force trying to keep this difficult for CFC. In pursuit, Hoffman. Yeah, the force is going to have to start coming out a bit from uh, behind their half. Right now, they're still looking at their body language. They're still in their own half and not coming forward. It's really, they can't afford to sit back. They've got to go make a break. They're going to make a break now and see if they can make something happen here. Here's a bit of a chance for the LA force. Feed to the backside. One deep now, two. Robertson comes up to cut him off. Dixon gets a boot onto the ball. Villatoro tries to regather this, cleared away momentarily. Sent back towards the net, intercepted by Ward. Ward carries it up the pitch, and then a rainbow ball up the field. To Brett Jones, see if Brett Jones can make it happen. Not quite. Just to try get the connection, but uh, a little bit of early pressure there from the force. They need to keep that, keep doing that if they're going to stay in the game. Mankin getting this one started for the force. Sent to the far touchline. Force trying to make things happen, trying to come through here, spreading it into the midfield and looking for a gap in Chattanooga's defence. Chattanooga have got all the players back apart from Marcus Nagelschnatt. That last touch deserting them. Kevin Gonzalez cleans up. Into the 11th minute here now in Finley. CFC leading LAF 1 0. 11 Sports, Nisa Soccer, thank you for joining us tonight, making us a part of your evening. Excellent soccer action here in the scenic city. This has been a blast so far. Yep, it's been a good game so far. Chattanooga, keeping steady, positive. Getting the early goal under the belt is always a good thing. Chattanooga can slow the control of the pace of the game a bit more, which is always good too. If you have control of the pace, you can dictate the speed of the game a bit more. That's something like that Rod works on with the team that possession and dictating the pace if they can do that. And this is a good position to be in. Spielman with a long feet up the pitch there. Take it Ooh, away here. Good interception there. Morse get it right back. Valotero 
to Menenkin. He looks to the far side along the touch line. Of course, being harassed there, double teamed. Said Robertson going to toss this one in. Going over the head of Guerrero there. CFC's keeper skies this one away from the net. Right near midfield, yeah, a bit of a collision there, Simon. That's a clear foul. There's the obviously trying to slow Mark Snagless that down. So uh, he's a bit of a marked man. You saw in the games in California, you got a lot of knocks too because they were like danger man. I'm afraid they watched our broadcast as well, so they know who the danger people are. <laughs> <laughs> so. On the far end of the pitch, CFC working this one about. Trying to get out of the move offensively here. Looking for Gray, this one. Nice touch on there from Taylor Gray. Ward with it momentarily. Being harassed from behind by Bonankin there. To the far side. This one will skeeter out of play along the touch line. CFC will inbound. Shot there. Just a bit too much juice on it. Yep. Just, uh, maneuver Kevin Gonzalez lets that one slide over the top of the bar. But, uh, the force trying to look a bit more dangerous. Trying to get back into the game, which is uh, what you would expect him to do. Here to the 14th minute. Gonzalez was in position to make that save if it hadn't been on the mark. one past the midfield stripe. Along the edge of the center circle. CFC sending this one up into the stands. Bounding here to Villa Toro. Yeah, making a retake the throw as he uh, crept along the line a bit there. To uh, put the ball back into play from where it crossed the line. But we always see players sneaking a few yards, don't we? <laughs> Clayton Tor along the close side here with it. Sends it right back to the keeper. Well, it's not too late. If you live in the area, you got to get down here. It's bobblehead night, Simon. It is, isn't it? Did we get a bobblehead? I, I don't think I didn't did, see one come into the concrete box. I wanted to get a, a bobblehead of Juan Hernandez. If that's not a sign that he's famous, I don't know. Oh, that's a good shot too, because the volley it did not come off. But a uh, nice attempt there from the force. Wins from the first corner of the game. But yeah, I was looking forward to getting a Juan Hernandez bobblehead. Maybe I'll be lucky and get one later. <laughs> yeah, I think that was Quintanilla right there, although mm -hmm. Quintanilla taking the shot and deflected away off of the body of Alex McGrath. That was a great look, Simon. Yep. Now we'll have the Chick-fil-A corner kick. Chattanooga always getting their bodies in the way of this, which is, you know, hoping Kevin Gonzalez out by blocking these shots. Here we go. Long ball on the cross kick going for the header, and Dixon clears this one away. That's uh, out of danger. Chattanooga able to come forward and bring their line up. Chance to reset. Touchline. Trying to create some space here. It's a nice ball. Can it make something happen? Good look. Crossing ball, and this one rolls clear and free. Right through the six yard box, and over there to make the touch and uh, take a shot. So Travis Wall brings it away. And Kevin Gonzalez said, I'm just going to let this one go. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's probably the best thing to do. Oh, we got a foul here. Uh, take the grade right on. The man down on the pitch. Oh. Hopefully he's all right. Yeah. Hate to see that. the 
the 17th minute here. one nothing CFC over LAF. Tonight's broadcast being brought to you by Food City. Didn't like have really much of a touch, but it's uh, must have caught him badly on the ankle. He's in a lot of pain. So give the players a chance to catch their breath. So, yeah, just over 15 minutes in the play. Chattanooga one up in the first third of the first half. Who's that got the knock, Gabriel? That was, was that Guerrero? De La Torre, number six. That's Villa Toro. Villa Toro, okay. So he's, so he's still getting treatment. That is, yeah, I think he just caught him on the ankle looking at the way the coach is looking at him. If he caught the, the ankle bones, that could be extremely painful. I've got a few of those when I played in it. So. There's not a lot of skin or muscle protecting the ankle bone. It really hurts. <laughs> yeah, Eric Villa there, native okay. of San Fernando. Hopefully he's all right. Never want to see anyone hurt. Mostly under his own power off of the pitch. Yeah. So that's a good sign. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. We'll get treatment. LA Force tempered out of 10 men while that gets sorted out. And free kick be taken. To get us underway here, number 20 in the LA Force, Clayton Tor. That play point of minute 18. Set back into the center circle, coming right back to Tor here. Tor will dribble this one a bit, up along the touch line. Looking for the cross kick there, headed away immediately yeah. by McGrath. Yeah, another corner given up. And they fall starting to put a bit more pressure on Chattanooga. Chick-fil-A corner kick coming right up here. The force from the close side of the pitch this time. To send this one inside, number 22, Peter Guerrero. Let's see how they do this one if it's uh, an in-swinger like the previous one, they go short. Gonzalez bears down for this. Swings out, Taylor Gray gets it away. Keeping this one alive, clear, but... A bit of a scrappy clearance there, but uh, throw to the force on the near side. Scrappy is a good word for that. It was a bit, wasn't ball. it? Yeah, yeah. It was a bit. Chattanooga soaking up the pressure at the moment. Not looking too, too concerned. Villa Toro back under the so pitch. Nice little back heel. It's kept it in play. And here's the long ball wide left. Had some yeah. force behind it. Could have been a chance. Yeah. Try for the volley there, but uh, we get it on target. Chattanooga reset with a goal kick. Edwin Rivas Jr. there, the one to take the shot. Into the 20th minute now here inside of Finley. Getting us back underway. Gonzalez. Give over to Nick Spielman. Now up along the far touch line. This one through the air. Intercepted by L.A. Chattanooga to McGrath. Dixon. We're seeing the force put a bit more pressure on Chattanooga now. They're making them a bit, bit quicker with the passes. Not giving us not giving as much time as they had before to look up and look where they're going to put it. So, doing a bit of Chattanooga's medicine, in fact, of putting the pressure on to make them keep the play moving. Yeah, you can kind of feel the, the mm -hmm. way the game is unfolding, mm -hmm. changing and evolving as we it go is. here. It is the force of definitely trying to get back into it, making more of an effort. And again, they're looking for those breaks. That's Villatoro Ch hitting the neon green getting, boots of a teammate. Right, Chattanooga getting the players all round and really fast and crowding them out. Good footwork and handling there. Two quick turns. Force trying to set up an attack here. Back near midfield. Long ball to Villatoro on the close side along the touchline. Flores, back door here. On the far side, looking towards the net, headed away by Chattanooga FC. Could be another chance to give, and the shot deflected away. Too many defenders parked in front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chattanooga kind of parking the bus a little bit there. And uh, another, another Chattanooga, sorry, LA Force corner <laughs> on the far side. See if they can make something happen from this. Eat yeah. more chicken, Simon. Chick fil A corner kick coming right up. I do, I love Chick fil A. <laughs> You're in the right place then. I love Chick fil A. <laughs> You're in the right I'm place. I'm going to get some after the game. <laughs> Here we go.
we go. The cross kick and header towards oh. the goal. This will find the twine. The LA Force giving us up. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, that was uh, unexpected and a good little goal from, from the Force. Let's see who got the goal. Just a straight header out of the corner kick straight to the head and behind Kevin Gonzalez. Put some one apiece in the 23rd minute. Take another look at that one. A gorgeous goal right there for the LA Force. Can't you the score was? I believe it was Carlos Flores. Flores. Okay, thank you. Dixon gets this one underway. Board with it. Yeah, the Force are energized. I think. After that. The far side of the pitch here working with it. Guerrero. Here's another chance, it's and this one will find the twine as well. It's two to one, a second goal for the Los Angeles Force. Lincoln, you miss it. That was amazing. Unbelievable back-to-back -back scores. The momentum going to the Force here. As I was too busy looking that up to even see what happened. That's a great goal. See that again. Here's the replay. Gets the ball across and it just slides past. I think it's a touch from 23. Slides past Kevin Gonzalez. What a goal. LA Force suddenly turn it around. Back in the lead in the 24th minute. Well, Chattanooga now have to do something here and get back in the game quickly. Edwin Rivas Jr. with another big time player right there for the Force. How about that one, Simon? This game this has quick. been turned what on a change. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I was still writing down the first goal, and there it is, 2-1. Suddenly the game's turned from 1-0 to 2-1. Chattanooga FC looking to change up their strategy here. We have LA Force going to be energized by this. Chattanooga not unfamiliar about coming back from being a goal down, but obviously you don't want to have to do it, you really need to. So, uh, Chattanooga's turn to pressure on, come forward. Dixon over hits that one to Tate Robertson. Quintilla will be credited with that last goal for okay. LA. Along the touchline here, CFC inbounding. Ian Cerro taking a shot. Good save. Beautiful no save. Keeper, Keeper coming shot, out though. to greet that one. Yep. First class. Channing will right back in it. Let's see if they can get that equalizer. Dixon battling after that one, gathered by Flores. Carlos Flores. <laughs> to the far side and that'll speed her out of play. CFC will inbound here over to McGrath. Looking to create a chance. Rivas Jr. back there defensively. Spielman looking to Dixon here, kicks it backwards towards the midfield stripe across the center circle. Ward feeds it up to Gray. Gray with a nifty move there and tried to fire it on net. A trio of defenders and the keeper will come out to greet this one. Yeah, the keeper keeps that one in, saves it going out for a corner kick. Yeah, Taylor Gray using his speed, ducking inside the defenders, making the space for the shot. side along the touchline here. Dixon gathers yeah, this one up. Simon, you've seen a, a lot of Mises soccer. Mm -hmm. CFC could have a bit of a chance here, the force. Oh, absolutely. There's uh, still an hour, hour of play to go, so I'm not uh, oh, I just <laughs> not losing sleep over this one. But yeah, the Chattanooga know what to do in these situations. Rondawood is not uh, leaping around. He's back in his chair and... Uh, Letting the players do their job on the field, really. They know what to do. 
I was we'll, gonna ask we'll watch him do it. <laughs> I thought CFC yeah. might have a bit of a chance towards the net, mm -hmm. but what I was gonna ask you was, yes. in the middle of the field, players who don't really usually stuff the stat sheet, who do you think has the largest impact? Oh, in the middle it's gonna be, I mean, Colin Stripling and Nick Spielman over here, which you're watching the two at the back, a really solid part of the defense with uh, Richard Dixon at the top of the triangle out, the three of them there, the three of them play together really well. And then Richard feeds it through, or tries to feed it through like that. Um, but what happens is um, Spielman struggling six and eight will play in the middle here, and then Ward and Robertson, uh, who are the, the wing backs, will also come forward up the wings as well. Now, Chat maybe with an attack coming forward. Here's McGrath. And this could be a chance. This one gathered up by the keeper who comes out to greet it. Great play defensively there. And the referee are blown for a, a foul back on back in the play. So yeah, no, nope. he lets the keeper keep keep the ball moving, which is good. Let's play the advantage and keep going, but. The good players are appealing for something. Didn't like that stoppage. Keeper again, gonna um, handle this. Nagel stat right on him. <laughs> He's bringing the heat down there. Yep, and that's good. They're putting the pressure on the defense, letting them know that we're uh, paying attention. <laughs> LIF to the close side and Villatoro Gray right there, putting a little pressure on the force. Again, back to the close side. Quintanilla. Back to the keeper here in the 28th minute, 2-1 the score, the force of Los Angeles leading the Chattanooga Football Club. 11 Sports, thank you for tuning in and joining us for Nisa Soccer here. No foul given, hopefully it's the advantage of the game go on. Sero gets a knock, ooh, that's a, that's a foul. <laughs> a big collision he right there. He just that Ian Sero put him on his back. So, the referee is Having a word here. <laughs> the with fans the pulling out their yellow cards. Absolutely. Well, they should, yeah, that's right. The, uh, putting out the Captain and White McGarvey the yellow cards, I think. So, our first yellow of the night? I think it is. So, uh, yeah, every, every Chattanooga fan goes around with a yellow card in his pocket. I don't know if you knew that or not, but there's mine, <laughs> which you can't see on the broadcast. So having a chat with Chandler Hoffman there before calling for it. One will go on Clayton Tor. This right, will get back underway. Yeah. Almost into the 30th minute here, Simon. Tonight's broadcast, Journal 11 Sports, being brought to you by Food City. Feeding Ward. Ward's going to see if he can bring that across. To McGrath. All the way across. Tate Robertson unmarked. Lots of space. Brett Jones on the far side. Spielman taking his time with that one. Wants to feed it inside. Oh, and a good steal from that A force. And they make a break. Finesse's this one up along the pitch. Dixon. A long ball, but. Strip that away, and Gonzalez will gather it up. And again, that's what you're saying about the keepers being important. Kevin's reading the game and he's really in the right place to get the ball. I'm always impressed. One of the most impressive things I see in soccer is when the keeper comes way out to mm -hmm. greet the ball. They know it's safe to do so. Here's a chance for Sarrow. Chattanooga FC oh. and a howitzer ball, but it's just over the top of the net here. Ian Surrey gets hot, hot up with his left foot, but it just uh, yeah, gets away from him. He leans back a bit and it goes over the bar, but great chance in Chattanooga. And Chattanooga will keep making these kind of chances through the entire game. And that was Cerro right there yep. using his agility to yep. break away from the pack, get a hold of the ball, work with it, and create that opportunity. That was fantastic. And a lot of fun to watch. Absolutely. I love the way like uh, Ian scored the goal against uh, Cal United in the first game. Watch this replay again. Here he goes. That feed is perfect. No kidding. He just leans back a bit too much in it. He knows it when he feeds. He's like, oh, no, I missed that up. I think they pulled Ward down by his jersey there, and he was still able to get that feed in there. Right, and the referee saw that and probably played the advantage to keep the play going, which is, is good refereeing to let the game keep flowing. With Deke now coming back towards the center of the pitch. Again, Sarah with it. Being harassed a bit. 
Gives it off close side. CFC to Gray. Gray has some space. Fires this one to the back door. Yes. The header will find the twine. It's two to two here in Finley Stadium. <laughs> what a score. Guess who it was? Alex McGrath, number 33, drawing his level in the 33rd minute. Back to back matches with goals for McGrath, Simon. Yep. Yeah. Unbelievable. Take another look at that. Yep. That's Alex's fifth goal of the season. Good chip over from Taylor Gray. Here it comes, Alex is right there. And again, what Alex said he did in the previous game, just redirects the ball. Doesn't put a lot of power on it, just turns the ball where it's away from the keeper's grasp. Two all, game on, folks. Boy, so, that was uh, a gorgeous score, Simon. Wasn't it great? Don't take your eyes off this one, folks. This is gonna be a lot more goals. <laughs> and we will enter into the 33rd minute here and half number one of action inside of Finley Stadium. Thank you for being with us. Well, just before that score, we saw a yellow card here. Just want to mm -hmm. remind folks, Kaeperman White and McGarvey yellow card got foul vision. Kaeperman White and McGarvey eye care can help with that. Absolutely. Keep those yellow cards out of your they eyes. They sponsor the yellow card. <laughs> That's brilliant advertising. Those of you at home can't see, the yep. yellow card has the sponsor on it. That's right. Cameron has for many I years. Care. We've, uh, yep. <laughs> well, you can't see that foul? Come on. <laughs> that's right. You can't see that? Is the referee blind? That's the, that's the joke. <laughs> it's, it's really that ongoing soccer joke that has been going on for years. <laughs> Yeah, back in the, the early days when I was down in the bleachers with the fans, we made our own yellow cards. And then <laughs> Captain and White McGarf went, aha, this is a good sponsorship idea. And they started showing up and handing them out at the games. So <laughs> we were out then. <laughs> that is an absolutely brilliant sponsorship. Absolutely. And um, that's, that's kind of the innovations that you know, we like to do here at Chattanooga. So, Word yeah. unable to keep that one on the pitch there on the back end. The Chick-fil-A corner to LA Force. Chicken, Chick-fil-A corner kick. This one coming from the close side of the pitch here for us in the press box. Force, send that one inside, and the header goes way up high. Still not cleared yet. Now the whistle will sound. Yeah, referee saw some pushing there and uh, caught the foul against LA Force. Kevin will take that uh, free kick from inside the 18-yard box. I Guerrero, from our vantage point here, was shielded by the bleachers, but I believe mm -hmm. it was Guerrero who was taking the corner kick. I think it was. Yeah, they, they generally stick with the same guy, a specialist for corners and free kicks, so it'll be one of Guerrero's jobs to do that, like we have McGrath and Cerro doing ours. McGrath sends that one back inside. CFC coming up the pitch quickly here. Sarah wants to feed this one. Ward. Keep it for long either. Back and forth from Gray. Looking for Gray right here. Could be a chance tried for the header, and this one rolls off yeah. the back of the pitch. That was a little bit on Taylor. He tried to figure it back behind him, but uh, he's good, but he's not that good. That was close. <laughs> it was close, and 10 out of 10 for effort. Well, this is what the fans pay to see. This is what the fans come out to see. This is what you and I come oh, out absolutely. to see. Oh, absolutely. A great match yeah. here tonight. Yeah. Lots of fun. We love this. This is great. It's great soccer. Great advertisement for the game. And it's just, just trivial to watch. You know which way it's going to go next. So, uh, yeah, don't take your eyes off the game, folks. <laughs> Force. A bomb up the field here. Oh, good long ball. This is a connection. Could have a chance. Tried to center it up in a collision just outside of the 18-yard box there. 
Another one near the midfield. McGrath strike. gets fouled, and that's going to be a yellow card. Yep, there it is. Second yellow card, LA Force of the night. McGrath gets cut down as he tries to make the break. Kapperman White, McGarvey yellow card. Yep. Coming out right away. No foul vision there on the far touch Not line. on that one. <laughs> it was pretty clear to everyone in the stadium, that one. <laughs> getting hit with a yellow card there. Halfway through this 37th minute of action here inside of Finley Stadium. Interesting on the yellow card record, the team with the best yellow card record um, in the league so far is Cal United, just 14 of them. The other teams are in the 20s and 30s, but Cal United are playing a very clean game this season. It's very interesting. So. And in some leagues, there actually is an award for clean play. So That's pretty unbelievable. It right? is, yeah. But for a team that's so successful, they haven't given a lot of yellow cards away. Can we make an award for them? Ah, that's up to Nisa. <laughs> I hope they do. <laughs> that, that, that's a good thing to award is clean play, because it's always something to be encouraged. Use your skills rather than your, your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Battle for it here in the middle portion of the pinch. Gathered up by CFC. They're on the move. Bit of a convoy here. The force trying to get set up in front of Cerro. He feeds it down to Gray. Gray deeks around two defenders and dips it off. Gray has a trio of defenders in front of him. Won't keep it for long. Yeah, LA Force really marked Taylor down as a the danger man. And they're putting at least two or three defenders on him at any time. It's not we're not getting as much action as he'd like to get at the moment. But again, if they take three defenders on a Taylor Gray, it means they aren't marking somebody else. So, in that sense, that's okay. <laughs> Long feed there, cleared yep. away carefully. Yep, corner at Chattanooga on the near side. Clayton Tor, the one who sent that off the pitch. It'll now be a Chick-fil-A corner kick. This will be a good chance for Chattanooga to nick a goal and go into the locker room ahead. Everyone would like that. McGrath, back-to-back -back goals for him. Two matches in a row. He'll be taking the corner kick here. Chattanooga Football Club. Packing the front of the net. McGrath, waiting. A rainbow ball to the inside oh, and nearly. tipped away carefully by the netminder. Great play defensively. You know he scored from that way before from a goal kick, from a corner kick. So he's never afraid to try that. <laughs> Trying to make the throw on the far side. Ian Cerro taking that one. This one headed out of play by Guerrero right there, just eliminating that threat. CFC going to get back to work. Could be a chance. Centering, and this one cleared away as well by the LA Force. Force. High ball skying this one towards midfield. Regathered momentarily, trying to avoid the tackle there by CFC. Dixon with it. He won't keep it for long either. Thin balls all around, sent through the center circle to the close side along the touchline. Villa Toro being harassed by Gray. Now the call. minute just a few moments left here in this first half of action and we've already said it once but man what a fantastic uh -huh. first half of play this has been a blast it's very interesting to watch Villatoro won't keep it for long LAF trying to get that down inside and this will roll over the touchline on the close side of the field Hoffman right there bringing a bit of pressure Force will inbound this. Again, Villa Toro. Right down in the corner there, able to keep this one in play. Chavez Ward bringing it all the way up. Good play there. Through the Cerro. He's got Brett Jones open and Marcus Nagwish now. Let's see how they come forward. Boy, a bit of a convoy. Brett here. Jones holding up, gives it to Cerro. Cerro can't quite get his foot on this. 
just barely cut off on the back end by Yona Pineda. That one slipped off Brett Jones' foot as well. Force. You know, sometimes, Gary, it's a matter of inches like that where you just can't get the touch on the ball. And that's two good examples. It's a matter of inches. LAF looking to set something up here. Long ball. This one is high. Too much juice on that one. Nice field goal, though. <laughs> Pity they don't count. <laughs> and I think the kids and the uh, Knoll up there are pretty happy about that one. Sure. That'll be part of the action. So, goal kick. Kick will take that one short to next uh, one. CFC just a few moments left to go here. That brings you home. McGrath. Wanted to send that to the touchline. Long ball up to Gray. Gray keeps it alive. Competing for the ball here. Villatoro trying to send it to a teammate. The intercept made by McGrath. Only forced defenders tripped up. Goes down hard to the turf here. Hopefully he's all right. Ward will inbound. Carlos right there battling for it. This one comes down out of the touchline. Ward will inbound again. Carlos Flores again sends this out of play. McGrath with a deke. Long ball on the cross Jones. kick. Yeah, look at that. Centered up, Sarah with a chance oh. and he'll score! It's three to two here inside of Finley Stadium as CFC finds the twine. Excellent, Ian Serro with a cracking shot from just inside the six yard box. Chattanooga, three two going into the half time. Running out of space on my paper, right? These goals down. <laughs> <laughs> what a problem to have. All right. <laughs> we were not equipped to take notes on this many scores. Five goals here in the first half that. of action. Cracking goal for me and Sarah in the 45th minute. Coming to you live on 11 Sports from the scenic city, and there is plenty to see here. Not just mountains, but also action on the turf. Lots and lots of action. Don't you want to be here for one of these games, folks? It's so much fun to see this live and in person. And it's always, it was a great privilege to be here in the box to watch, and I just love this. So Chattanooga 3, LA Force 2, and uh, Chattanooga in great shape as we go on the edge of the end of the first half. So again, the scores from the, the road trip, Ian Serro, McGrath and Nagelstadt all scoring again tonight. So that puts uh, Marcus on the 16 goals, and uh, Alex McGrath on the five, Ian Serro on the four. They're catching up Taylor Gray, who's on six. <laughs> I'm sure Taylor wants to get his name on the scoreboard too, knowing, uh, knowing Taylor. <laughs> so we're gonna have two minutes for extra time, uh, it's time brought to you by HHM. Need more time for your business? Contact HHM. Boy, good play there by Kevin Gonzalez. Comes out, creeps that one up. He'll get CFC back underway with a roll to the close side. So you called it. You said, hey, CFC could really build some momentum mm -hmm. here against LAF. And that, that could have gone either way. A goal before the half really sends you with some momentum into that break. It does. It gives you uh, 15 minutes to think about it in the locker room. That's a psychological thing, too. Stay with us here. We'll have a little bit of a halftime show before we go to break. We will have our cause of the night visit us here in the press box, have a quick conversation with them. And I really would like to hear, not right now, but during the halftime, Simon, your thoughts on what that halftime looks like in the locker room. Is it clinical? Are they coming up with notes on the whiteboard? Are they throwing chairs? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think Rod's a chair thrower. He's not that kind of manager. Um, but. Uh, He'll have something up his sleeve, I'm sure. We've got a player down here, too, on the near side. The new player is down. Take the Gray got a knock. And it doesn't, so it doesn't usually go down, so he must have really got hit badly. Just about 30 seconds left to go here. And the referee's it's finally stopped in place. See if Taylor can get some attention. Let's see, he's holding his left ankle. It's not like him to go down easy. So he must have really got hurt. Yeah, hopefully he's all right. Never want to see that. Catch their breath for a second, not quite at half time just yet. 
But uh, yeah, I mean, in the locker room, yeah, I mean, it'll be, it'll be a positive attitude. And uh, I think LA Force feel a bit hard done by there being a goal down at half time. Um, but yeah, the psychology of that gives you, you've got time to think about it. And, you know, it just gets in your head a little bit. That's the mental part of the game. So the rod will use that as a booster, but at the same time, we'll say, you know, let's not be complacent because we've seen them score two goals in two minutes. So, so Taylor Gray being helped off, it's like we might have to have a substitution. And Damien Rodriguez running out for a get warmed up. I suspect he can probably play with 10 men for a few more seconds. Ron Underwood comes to greet him and check on him. Yep. Looks like he might be able to walk this off. Hopefully he is all right as we will get back underway here. Ball sent into play on the far side. The force trying to battle this one towards the net. Headed away here by CFC. Oh. Oh. Taylor's back up to speed again, that's good. He's running around normally, so that's good to know. He got a bit of a stinger there. He uh -huh. is yep. back to 100% though, as you put it. This one sent out of play. Ward battling for the ball there. Going to be inbounded by Flores. Flores with a deke for the dip. Drops it down towards that 18 line. And this one sent out of play by Ward, eliminating the threat. And that'll be it for our first half of action here inside yep. of Finley Stadium. That's the first half. LA Force players surrounding the referee and not happy that they're not getting the chance to take that corner and the coaching staff are coming on the field there you can see them in the black shirts I think they're getting the players to cool down a bit but a little aggrieved they didn't get to take the corner before the referee blew for half time but the referee's decision is final so that takes us at the half time folks 3-2 to Chattanooga what a half for soccer five goals the lead changing hands several times <laughs> yeah pretty unbelievable great to watch so uh, lots of excitement there Simon and I will be back in just a moment. We'll talk about what we expect in the second half and during that halftime break, as well as have our cause of the night. It's 3 to 2, CFC leads LAF. This is Nisa Soccer on 11 Sports. Welcome back here inside of Finley Stadium. We are scoring a lot here tonight in that first half of play. We saw five total goals, Simon. <laughs> it was amazing, Gabriel. Absolutely amazing. Chattanooga taking the lead. In the seventh minute, an early lead, Marcus Nagelstadt with an assist from Travis Ward. But uh, LA Force, look, they, they were a bit put down. They came back suddenly two goals in two minutes to lead 2-1. And uh, then Alex McGrath getting the equaliser in the 33rd minute. And then uh, right at the end of the game, in the 45th minute, Ian Serro putting Chattanooga ahead 3-2. So uh, five goals, lots of drama. And uh, having to write all the goals down the back of my hand, ran out of paper. Very exciting. So, uh, see what the second half brings. We were talking about the locker room before the uh, kickoffs and saying, wonder what they're saying there. Probably Ron well, Underwood telling the boys to stay calm, stick to the plan, as he always does. And uh, LA Force, not sure. Maybe they've ever said, you know, you slipped a goal, didn't need to. So, maybe they got, maybe they got the hairdryer, maybe not. <laughs> but uh, we're back in play, Alec. Um, Kevin, Kevin Gonzalez with the ball again, and that's a strange back pass goal. Giving away a little corner there. As we're saying, what we're saying, focus. Didn't focus there. And they fall to the Chick fil A corner. Start the second half off. Ramos in for Rebus Jr. here for LA Force. Eat more chicken. Chick fil A corner kick coming up right now. From the close side, this one. Cross kick looking inside and headed away carefully by CFC. Taken at and gathered now. Sent up the pitch and successfully cleared Nagel out snap. into midfield. Looking for the overlap with Serra, who is coming up fast up the middle. So Chattanooga calm things down a bit. LA able to get the defense back to slow things down. Taylor Gray got the knock. We saw him right at the end of the first half, but he's back. He's playing on the field. So it's not too serious to keep him off the... Uh, off the pitch, which is great. Reese de Oliveira into the contest for the LA Force. Tonight's broadcast on 11 Sports here being brought to you by Food City. It's Nisa Soccer, Gabriel Shry here alongside Simon Neal into the second half here. 48th minute underway, three to two the tally. The CFC resting in the lead by just one goal. 
What a scoring explosion in that first half. Can you talk to me about some of the goals we saw, where they came from? They were just uh, good crosses, solid play, and uh, Chattanooga executing the plan they've had all along the season to play as a team, keep the ball moving, and we got Richard Dixon down. Is he offside? No. Nope. He looks to be all right, rising LA, back up LA the pitch. get the ball back in. But yeah, just good teamwork in all the goals. And uh, the strikers executing like they're supposed to do. There's a great ball to Brett Jones. Brett Jones has got two on overlapping. Jones There's the, the ball. to Gray. the back door. Oh. <laughs> Looking for the header from <laughs> Gray right there. <laughs> Taylor Gray not able to make contact. Referee down. having a little bit Taylor Gray. I think he made contact with the defender. Yeah. Yeah, back inside of the box there, Clayton Tor was slow mm. to rise. He was indeed. I think Taylor Gray saying he was obstructed, but uh, referee saying he's not buying it. So, yeah, so let's throw it on the far side. Yeah, this is going to be uh, <laughs> pretty hard and heavy tonight as these guys go. Watch this replay again. I think the, the feed from Brett Jones. Taylor Gray thinks he's got to push in the back, and he's asking for a penalty. But... Uh, Referee didn't say that, and the linesman didn't see it either, so we go on. Here we go, Gray along the far touch line, looking to work this inside, and tripped up down there by Clayton Tor. I think those two are going to have a bit of a ding-dong in this second half. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be on each other all the time. So, but, uh, We don't have VAR here, so we can't get to watch those goals back and those, those plays and be offside by a fingertip, so... We have to rely on the referee and the linesman, which is okay with me. <laughs> Chick-fil-A corner kick right there. Eight more chicken inbounded quickly. And finessed along the touchline by CFC. Flores there bringing the pressure. Ladled down towards the center of the pitch here. Using his boots directs it right back to Spielman. That was Dixon. Tate Robertson trying to find a gap here. LA Force getting good at closing these gaps down. That's a nice ball. Didn't close that one down. Straight to Tate. Jones with a good look there. Cerro going to send it right back to him. CFC setting up for something here. Dixon turns a half circle. Fires it to the close side looking for Jones. This one flatters off of a couple of legs. And now... Oh, both sides get to reset there. Yeah, probably they're trying to find a gap. At uh, LA4 starting to get better at closing them down. Chattanooga still finding them though. <laughs> so, just lots to watch. I mean, lots of action. Even the off the ball stuff is, is just fascinating to watch at this level. Now gathered momentarily by Yonick Pineda, sent back to the keeper. He'll come right back to him. Pineda to the close side with some speed. LAF. Back to Yonick. Yonick dribbling carefully, sends it across to the far side of the pitch here, along the center circle. Back down low, Ramos with it. Firing a shot off the body of a CFC defender, Spielman there. He takes it away. Dicks into the corner and now yeah. cleared out. Robertson gives that a clear mark. Nagelstadt gets a nudge in the back. Number 37. The force is getting a warning, not a card. But a word from referee saying, don't keep doing that. I'm watching you. <laughs> and that's Jonah Pineda again right there. And he is, I like his play style. He's very aggressive, uh -huh. very high energy. He's in a lot of different situations, mm -hmm. making plays. Sure. Sure, that's what a good defender does. But uh, there's that fine line between being, being, you know, aggressive and fouling. <laughs> now we'll start chasing it down chance. on the keeper. And the keeper clear it quickly. Brett Jones gets it. Jones gives it off to Cerro. Cerro looking, centers it up to the backside. Nearly tackled away there. Gray with it. Gray trying to buy some time here on the run. Bit of a handoff to Cerro over to Dixon. Travis Wall in the left wing now. And he's got McGrath with him. Has this taken away? Good play 
play defensively there. LAF gets back underway, sending it to Pineda. Pineda took that one from Benitez. Now this will skeet her over the touchline and out of play. LA Force getting ready to make a substitution. Number 77 waiting to come on. Simon, what's your, uh, what's your, well, hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. Whoa. <laughs> uh, that cleared away. Good defensive play right Very there. Very good. Very good play there. This time, play made by Bonankin. Craig Bonankin came screaming in there, sent that out of play. Simon, just off the top of your mm -hmm. head, what's your feeling on the rest of this contest? Are we going to get another explosion of action like we did in the first half with a, a slew of goals, or are things cooled off? Oh, no. I, um, defensive play? I think Chattanooga will be looking for an extra goal or two. Um, obviously, no, they can't just rely on being one goal ahead, having seen the force come back so well in the first half. Um, LA Force, yeah, they want to get something out of the game. They want to get at least a point out of this. After their previous games where things didn't, you know, go the one of them to. So both teams have after those three points. Therefore, Chattanooga have to push for an extra goal, I think, not rely on just being one ahead. LA Force want to get, get back in the game, get equal, Jones. maybe go and nick, nick a winner. So both teams are not going to sit back. Spielman back to Jones. We're on the close side of the pitch here, right in front of the broadcast booth. This one, ooh, looking to make a move. And Tate Robertson trying to get around his man, but uh, doesn't quite get away. Here's substitution for LA Force 23 coming off, 77 coming on. Who's that, Gabriel? Number 77 is Eduardo de Feria. Okay. He's a Brazil native. That was Pineda who cut off mm -hmm. CFC's man on the back end there. Quintanilla, goal scorer in the first half of action, coming off of the pitch for the mm -hmm. moment. Interesting. Into the 55th minute of action now, still a one goal contest here inside of Finley Stadium. Thank you for being with us on 11 Sports. It's probably too late to come out for bobblehead night if you didn't make I it. I think right. it is. You didn't, you weren't here with the first thousand, you wouldn't have got one. <laughs> mm. That's a tough one. But to miss. there will be other events and promotions during the rest of the season too, so do not worry about that. Absolutely. Just get yourself a ticket, go to cfcticks.com. Get a little discount by buying it early too. Um, to cfcticks.com and uh, come to the rest of the games. Absolutely, can't recommend enough. Visit I can't either, so you, you got the, the excitement of live soccer and you haven't got to listen to us. <laughs> Next time, CFC is yeah. at home, September 24th, September 7.30 kick. Yeah, we're home to Flower City Inn on Saturday, September 24th, and on the 28th, the following Wednesday, we're home to Albion, San Diego, who will be looking to avenge their defeat at home. So, lots coming up. And then games in uh, October too, with the playoffs, hopefully. Ray looking to set something up here. Tried to send it inside, looking for Nagelstad. This one headed away carefully. Now LIF working for the ball. Dixon shut down a further approach initially. I'll tell you, if you're interested in the upcoming events, cfctix.com, visit the website of the Chattanooga Football Club. They lay out all the upcoming events each night, mm -hmm. what to expect. Absolutely. And uh, one thing I found out yesterday, a bit of late news, um, Nisa named uh, CFC the Club of the Month for August for all the community outreach and the community engagement at Finley Stadium with our sponsors and match day partners. So uh, that's a nice little award to get from Nisa as well for recognizing the hard work done behind the screw, the crew behind the scenes here at Chattanooga that you don't always hear about, the, uh, the hard working back office team too. Well, Simon, to so stick well with that theme, I think you're onto something there. I really think the front office of this football club does an unbelievable job of engaging the community, of bringing people into the games, mm -hmm. of getting people in, and, and giving back to the community very effectively. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, it's nice to be recognized by that. My niece now, LA Force. Could be a chance for the force, but Dixon shuts that down initially. She does so well. Regathered. Sent it up quickly there by Guerrero. So you can see the Force are playing a bit more up the field. They're really going to have to start pressing. They want to get an equaliser. So there's a little more aggression in their play. But that does leave them a bit exposed at the back. Let's see if Chattanooga can take advantage. And Taylor Gray tries to go around and gets cut down again. The referee's going to get a card on that one. Hopefully he's all right. Second time Taylor's got a knock. In front of the VIP section. 
I guess they got a good view of that. Quintanilla on the collision there with Gray. Chattanooga have got their bench warming up. Nobody yet picked out to come on, but uh, we have a good bench tonight. Uh, we got uh, Alec Reddington, Greg Stratton, Frankie Martinez on the bench, and usually Juan Hernandez, of course, ready to come on as always. And we got uh, Ethan Corrin. That's a great ball to Brett Jones. And the goalkeeper has to head it away. Boy, a battle for the ball along the touchline there, and uh, Sarah yeah. unable to keep that one in. Yeah, so the, the bench is strong for Chattanooga tonight. Crispin Mudez, Roddy Green, um, Damon Rodriguez, and uh, Hunters Hernandez as well. So we've got a good bench. Well, those guys will want to get on here, I'm sure, and make an impact. So. Alexander Ramos there on the play defensively, forcing that one out, and he's been very effective. That's Pineda. With a nifty little move, and another one there, dribbling carefully back towards midfield. This one cleared away. Looks like Nagelstad sending that one into the air, skying down towards the close touch line. Gathered up by Pineda. He's all over it. Just kept on the uh, the hour of play. Still 3-2 to Chattanooga. Not quite as much drama so far than the uh, first few minutes of the second half, which is good for our heart rate anyway. <laughs> far side. Could be a chance here for LA Force trying to string together a couple of passes. Looking inside, Flores. He's really made quite a difference. He came on, hasn't he, Flores? He's really uh, energized his left wing a bit. Pineda. Here he comes again. Feeds it down in there. And this one off of the front end. Of the defender. LA, LA Force camping out a bit in uh, Chattanooga's half too here. Yeah? Goalkeeper way out of his box. Obviously confident that Chattanooga aren't going to make a break, and because if in that position you can pop a ball to Marks and that will he'll just lob it over the keeper and aim for the goal. So. Spielman, the player parked out front a moment ago, yep. Simon, and that mm -hmm. was Dixon sending that one over the touchline. Right, there. right. But They're really bringing the defensive pressure. Mm -hmm, they are. This back four, though, is for Chattanooga, who's played together so many times. They, they're very confident, very solid. So I've got. Got a lot of faith in these guys. Force setting up slowly here. Pineda with it. Sends a long ball up towards the corner. Centering feed is deflected away by Spielman again. The ball was headed towards the foot of the Feria there, and Spielman wasn't having it. This is one of those spells of pressure. We saw this in the first half too, that to the force put the pressure on and were able to capitalize and get the two goals. I think they're looking again to repeat that, keep the squeeze on until Chattanooga finally leave a gap and they can exploit it. But uh, in the same vein, Chattanooga will do the same thing and exploit it. Take Robertson getting a big hit there. Yeah, a bit of a collision, hopefully Robertson's all right, he came over the top there of Alexander Ramos. Just, uh, just a foul there, I think it was. But uh, it hit him pretty hard. Not only does he look to be all right, they look to be all right. A little exchange mm -hmm. of a nod there, and sure, <laughs> they're sure. both back at it. <laughs> That's what the pros do. Here comes the throw in from the close side. gets bundled off the ball there a little bit. Again, the force trying to be the force and uh, take the bite. Here we go. The Brett CFC jo long feed down there. Cyril Jones. Brett Jones, Jones just <laughs> stumbles <laughs> over the ball a little bit. <laughs> walks over it and like, where's the ball gone? <laughs> that happens sometimes. Here in the 62nd minute inside of Finley Stadium, Gabriel Shry here with Simon Neal on 11 Sports. It's the Chattanooga Football Club and the Los Angeles Force. He says soccer. Yeah, it's a great night for soccer too here in September. The cooler weather's here, and it's just very comfortable. 72 degrees, a little cloudy. 
really great for soccer. Simon, about 4 o'clock, I was getting ready to leave my house and drive down here, and I was worried about the weather. I checked mm -hmm. it on my phone. I said, I hope we don't get rained out. I hope mm -hmm. there's, there's no thunder or lightning. Right. And it's turned out to be a beautiful night. It really has turned out to be great for soccer. This is a, a comfortable temperature, and uh, the players are enjoying it, too. I'm sure more than the heat they had in California during the week. So, uh, yeah, couldn't be better. It's comfortable for the fans. So, yep. We talked during the pregame about how beautiful this venue is, mm -hmm. what a beautiful right. setting it right. is to, to watch a, a great game like soccer and a great game like this one tonight. Mm -hmm. Now the sun has gone down and it's a little dark, but still a beautiful view. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's just fabulous. It's one of the one of the great views. It's a privilege to be here to see it. It's uh, a lot of fun to watch at Finley Stadium. And uh, yeah, there aren't, isn't really a bad seat in the house, which is unusual, because I've been to quite a few sports stadiums around the world. And this one, there's no bad seat. <laughs> There we go. CFC on the attack there. Cerro trying to keep. And McGrath's trying to break through. She's done before. There's Gray on the far side working with it. Shut down by Romero momentarily. Now Chattanooga's turn. Put the pressure on the LA Force. And they all capped out. See the, the, the build of the men. They're all in LA Forces now after being in the other half for so long. <laughs> Boy, battle for the ball here. Cerro ducking and diving. Goes down the box. Foul given, was it in the box? It was right on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Referee's marking it just outside the box. But Ian Serro's gone down. Let's see if he's okay. Bit of a collision there that's between Serro yep. and... That's a good spot for a free kick for Chattanooga. We've scored from here before. And uh, Marcus Nagelstadt has scored from dead balls. The situation you can see he's getting set up there to take the free kick. So this is one you don't want to miss. I'm not sure if that's Bo Nankin. Craig Bo Nankin was the player that collided with him. I'm not sure if that's him talking to the official there or not. It probably is. They, uh, they like to talk. <laughs> they all like to talk to the referee. So here you go. Could be a chance here in the 65th minute for the Chattanooga Football Club. Firing this one oh. towards the net and off of the top of the crossbar. Unbelievable. Yeah. That was uh, just a few inches. Like I said, it was a game of inches we were saying that earlier. Marcus Nagel start banging it off the crossbar. LA Force, breathe again and get to uh, get to reset. But any of those those free kicks from just outside the box in that uh, 20 to 25 yard area, those are meet and drink to Marcus Nagelstadt. He just loves those. We're still searching for that equalizing goal here inside of Finley Stadium. Right now, they're on the move. Long feed down to the close side, connecting with DeFeria. He gives it off. Back in the corner there, a cross kick rolls yeah. over the top of the net. Yeah, can't get that one in. Just uh, don't see much on it. That was a good look. Just couldn't get it out front. Made a, made a big play. Gonzalez will... So have a chance to clear this away. Chattanooga will probably going to bring on some subs in a moment. I'm seeing Damien Rodriguez and uh, and there's Hernandez talking to uh, Chris Nugent, the assistant coach. So I suspect he's giving him a few little last minute moments, little tips. We should see those two guys on the field. Sarah with it here. Dipping and diving, going back and forth with a teammate. Al McGrath looking to set something up. CFC going on the move here. Giving it off to Jones. Jones looking, waiting. Oof, patience nearly paid off. Trying to feed it inside, taken away by LAF. Good defensive effort there, Simon. Yeah, absolutely. Good read of the game by the LA defenders. And we've got a oh, yellow card. Back into a shell there and shot that down. Now the yellow. Foul. Who got the yellow for that? One of the Chattanooga players? I think it may have been. Is it Brett Jones got the yellow? Let's see. Our crew is telling us it is Jones. Okay. So he tackled back maybe a little bit too hard. So. I was looking at the far touch line watching right. the ball and missed that. That's all right. No, I was always waiting for the call for the announcer on that one too, because it was 
didn't really see anything terribly wrong with that, but the referee did. Yeah, Brett Jones confirmed is the yellow card. Boy, what a deke there. Passing it off inside and now taken away by CFC. Cello's got a uh, man ahead of him. Chattanooga building. Chattanooga's had a few scoring chances here in this second half of action, as have the Los Angeles Force. But the score remains the same as it was at the halftime break, three to two. Now entering into the 69th minute of action here inside of Finley Stadium. Mesa Soccer on 11 Sports, thank you for being with us. We were both predicting goals at the half time, weren't we, Gabriel? Then we haven't had them yet, but I think there's still some brewing in this game. I don't think we're out of goals just yet. If the score stays as it is, I will not complain, but I think there's some more to come. <laughs> just got a feeling about it. Boy, tipped away to Nagelstad. Back to Gray. Gray. Wide open on the left wing. Look at him go. Three on three chance, Gray working with it with some pace. Waiting here, makes one move now two. Trying to maintain possession, maneuvering and sending it back to Dixon. He goes right back to him, close side to Spielman. Spielman waiting, comes back to him. Over to Dixon, they're slowing it up now here. Looks like they might be winding up to take a shot. Instead, CFC looking for some space, waiting for the perfect opportunity. Force trying to shut this one down. Defenders roving back into the penalty box. Nagelstad, the Cerro, he comes close side to Jones. Just offside, the referee put his flag up. Oh, the line's very fast. The official was watching for that one. Yeah, it was it very coming. tight and he caught that one. So, substitutes coming up. Rodriguez and uh, Jaime's gone for Chattanooga. And number 14 coming on for LA Force. Who are they taking off? Carlos Sanchez, native of Spain, coming okay. in for LAF. Flores coming out, okay. And then Alex McGrath coming out, that's interesting. Alex usually plays the entire 90 minutes, let's see what we get. Hang on, that's not, is that right? Ref did his bonus, not the right number? No, it's Brett Jones and Ian Serro coming off. That's what I thought the referee put up 33, but actually it's... Okay. Serro and Jones coming off. Rodriguez, Jaimez coming on. Fresh legs here. So Alex Hernandez, Ian Serro in the midfield. Rodriguez, native of Dalton, Georgia. Yep, our local hero. They're well known for that. Got some great time against Louisville Metropolitan, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. correct? He did, he did. This is a good time to introduce these two guys. They both have speed and they'll be fresh legs too, which will probably surprise the LA defense. And Damien now, and he always surprises them. They think, who's this little kid? Is somebody's kid brother come on the field and he just streaks past him and shoots on the goal? And they're like, what happened? Here he comes now, and he's just so quick. And each game you get better and better, which is great to see. Uh-oh, what's this? A little bit of shoving and pushing uh -huh. down there. <laughs> we having a quiet word. <laughs> Let the players know I have seen that. <laughs> Don't do it again. <laughs> This one started right in front of him now. LAF working this one up the pitch. About to cross into the 73rd minute here in just a moment of action inside of Finley Stadium. Today's broadcast being brought to you by Food City. It's Nisa Soccer here on 11 Sports. with 
this one. LIF keeps it away from CFC, the force. Through the center circle. Right near that midfield line. Down to the touch line, trying to work this up. Towards the keeper, centered back up. Sent long to the close side, Ramos. Feeds this one inside and cleared away by CFC. Ooh, Good Collins. defensive play. Collins dribbling there, gets it away. DeFeria was looking for the cross, they really trying were. to feed it that was, down low. It was a good cross right in the middle of the six-yard box. Here they come again. Chick-fil-A corner kick, this time deflected away. Yep. Shannon Leary getting the first head on it and clearing it away. Now the force are where the, the clock is counting down. And they want to get back into this game if they can. Long ball, this one towards the net, wide left. I think he was looking to hook up. That was mm -hmm. Oliviera looking to hook up with Hoffman right there. Chandler Hoffman was crashing towards the net, but right. just overshot him. Yep. Gonzalez making a lot of heads up plays here tonight for CFC. Sure, absolutely. It's good to see that. When you've got a solid goalkeeper like Kevin, it's, it's really reassuring for the defence of the rest of the team. So you know you can trust them, and that's, that's again, part of the mental game, is that. That confidence comes from that, knowing the people have got your back. And the team is playing as a team, and if you put the ball where someone is supposed to be, they're there. Like this Taylor Gray from Marcus Nagelstad. He knows Marcus is there, and gets straight to him battling with it just outside of the penalty box. One move now, two, fires this, it's high and wide. Boy, that was a good look and it took was. advantage of it. Yep, definitely finding some space there to get the shot away. Just a little bit too high, but again, Taylor Gray showing why he's so dangerous. Simon, it's still just a one goal game. We're into the 75th minute now. Time's not getting small, but we're getting towards the mm -hmm. end of this contest in full time here. Talk to me about the implications of the points for the playoffs. What's going to happen if, say, CFC wins this one or if they lose it? Well, CFC, I think, are expecting to, to win it. And that's why I said we must make complacent and assume it's given to us before we start the game. But uh, this keeps us up with Cal United. Cal United have got four games in hand over CFC. Um, so we have to make sure we get the points on the board and keep them. Um, Cal United will be doing the same thing from their side of the conference. So we have to really make sure that we take advantage of this. Now, if it's a win for LA Force, they may go up from 7th to 6th. It puts them in the playoff spot. It gives them a, a shot at a playoff, which they'd love to have. At the moment, they're just outside that spot. So it's really important for them, too, for their confidence. Plus, you don't want to go on the road and lose games. We talked about for Chattanooga's point of view, going on the road and picking up the points, not dropping them when you're away from home. Um, so for LA's point of view, yeah, if they can get a nick a win or even a point, it might help them get into the playoffs and just get that last position. Um, it's a mental lift to them as well. Otherwise, it's a long flight back to the West Coast if you, you know. <laughs> Absolutely, it's <laughs> a lot easier a point if you've got an empty hand. Your back if you're empty-handed, you're like, Ugh. so yeah. There you go, beautifully put. Thank you for that. So it's it's yeah, it's, it's a bit of it, it's about numbers on the on the league. It's about psychology. So. September tilt with playoff implications for these two clubs. Oh, definitely. Yep. And time is winding quickly here inside of Finley Stadium. Right now, CFC with the ball. Jones works it down inside towards the penalty box. It's Rodriguez, kind of free. Yeah, it's Rodriguez and Ward combining there. Travis Ward way up. And uh, Damian Rodriguez, the little flick on. So, going to make it happen, but they're still knocking on the door. I think Vineta made a great defensive play. They're getting in Ward's mm -hmm. way, so he could not get to the ball. Right, right. Good, good shielding of the ball without foul. With it, comes right back to him. Long feed for the force. The other one here along the touchline. Bit of space to work with. Deferia dekes around one defender, loses the football. And this one stripped away again. There's Rodriguez. Look at him go. And he's gone. <laughs> Let's take two to take the ball back. And this is real give and go stuff down here on this near side. Exchanging this one back and forth they go. Fast, fast, fast. Long one to the back side of the field. LAF trying to set something up here. 
Towards the corner. Now, Travis Ward one on one. Can he keep it in? It's still in play. In the penalty box. Now, here we go. Could be a chance on the cross. Centered up. This one deflected away. And Gonzalez dives for it, but it skeeters off of mm, the pitch. Interesting. Chick fil A corner kick. Eat more chicken. Eat more chicken. <laughs> LA Force keeping the pressure on with these corners. Sending this one inside on the cross and headed away effectively by Nagelstad. It's going deep and the shot's a little wild. Stripling gets ahead of the period off and the, the Force had a bit of a wild shot there. Chicken will get a chance to reset. That stripling that headed that? Mm -hmm. uh, usually I went by Colin. the haircut. He uses Colin's height. He's this tall guy. He's usually the one who goes up for those. I mean, Nick will get them too, but Colin usually gets them first. Big, booming rainbow ball coming to the close side here. CFC trying to clear that one away. Stripped away from them by the force. LAF. Deferia centers this up. Rodriguez in pursuit, and this one looks like it may cross yes. over the touchline. Yeah, that's running out for a throw in on the far side. A few tired legs out there right now, Gabriel, I'm sure, with these guys are running and running and running, so... A few tired legs. Referee, yellow card for Alex McGrath for being a bit slow with a throw in there. Boy. Not keeping the play moving. They cap him on White McGarvey. Yellow card. Have problems with your eyes? You know who to call? Absolutely. Got foul vision. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the guys. So. Into the 80th minute here inside of Finley Stadium. Long feed for Chattanooga Football Club. Now to the close side along the touchline. It's Jones. Jones looking. Biding his time with one deep now two. Centering pass. Here's a shot. It's high. Boy, good look right there for Chattanooga football. Yeah, Nagelstadt getting the cross in there. And uh, Hernandez getting getting it across there very well. But, uh, couldn't quite get the connection, put it in the back of the net. But Chattanooga still dangerous. The intercept made by Gray. Gray, centering pass. Oh, just and, couldn't uh, get oh, enough juice on that one. Tricked away from Jaime's there. He did not quite get hold of that one. But Chattanooga, knowing that one, I think the one goal lead is not enough. If they can take another goal for the lead, they can wrap the game up. But uh, they know the force is still dangerous. The keeper made the intercept on that one down there, able to cover it up after there was just not enough force on it. Yeda got this one started. Right near the midfield stripe there, LA Force trying to work a play in to the back side of the pitch. Just along the touchline for a moment before battling this inside. Looking for a teammate to connect with. Force still with it, being Pin harassed by CFC and now cleared. Definitely pinballing around back there. Nagel snap two on him, still keeps the ball. Foul called against uh, the Force. And Chattanooga won't rush to take that one. Another substitute coming on for LA Force, number, number zero. That one right, it is number zero, come off number 11. Zero is Bravo. He's coming on. Bit of fresh legs for the force. Donovan Bravo, and Benitez, number 11, coming out. It's a bit, a bit too much on that one for Taylor yeah. Gray to keep it in. <laughs> Absolutely had some juice on that looking for Taylor Gray. Of course, we'll get this one started. Throw in goes over to Sanchez. Forcer on the move here, got a bit of a convoy. Long feed, close side of the pitch. Working with it, down along the edge of the penalty box. Centering this, taking their time. 
Here's an opportunity, hoping to center this and cleared by Dixon. Gonzalez comes out, eliminates <laughs> Good the threat save right there. there. Yeah, good save. That ball was bouncing, but uh, you know, people all over it. But it was good. Kevin got hold of that one. And here we go. Keeping it moving. Damon Rodriguez brings a corner. Uh, throw in. Uh, encouraging Chattanooga to keep this moving and not waste time. Crossing into the 84th minute here, still just a one goal contest inside of Finley Stadium. So an explosion of scoring in half one. Mm -hmm. Scoreless here. In yeah, one. we're really expecting a lot more goals. But uh, we feel like. I don't know, I still think, I just got a feeling there's one more to come somewhere. <laughs> and I hope it's a one for Chattanooga, of course. <laughs> I have to be not that, that unbiased, but who knows? And they force, we know they're dangerous. Robertson battling for the ball, DeFeria there. Eduardo DeFeria tried to put that on that LA force. Maintain possession here. Near midfield. They're going to try again to set something up. On the far side of the pitch, working this all around. Pineda, long feed and the intercept made by CFC. Nagelstad on the move with it. A long ball. A howitzer. Oh, oh my goodness, off the top of the crossbar. Tries to lob the keeper. Sees the keeper way off his line. Rob, the keeper is right, and he just Ooh. about pulled it off. Wow, they just saved by the crossbar there. That was a heck of a long shot, but they all count if they go in the back of the net. Crowd loves that one. Well, I think the force are going to have to get those pipes a jersey because they just made the roster. They really should, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they should uh, look at watch this, look at again. this one again. Long shot, just a bounce. Over the keeper's head, it's just a bounce. Oh, just my cracks goodness. the top of the crossbar. How fun is that? Wow. <laughs> you know, if somebody called me up and said, we want you to call this game, there's going to be five goals in the first half, and that's going to happen. Uh -huh. Sign me up. That's fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely. That sounds like a blast to me. Force working with it, trying to finesse this one down inside and cleared away initially by CFC. Force still threatening as they have possession here along the touchline. Ramos gives it off to Feria, being harassed by Rodriguez. Here's a look, centering ball and the cross ball just kind of clears through traffic yeah. there. Another chance, CFC's right through the gray. box and okay, the greatest hoops of the way. A lot of pressure from LA Force. And Gray neutralized that for a moment. Here's another chance and Gonzalez comes out and greets oh. that one. Collision yeah. down inside and the yeah, fans are not happy. Neither is Gonzalez, yeah. who spikes the ball. He gets knocked down by the attacker. I'm not sure if that's incidental. That was a bit of a push on Kevin Gonzalez. He's not happy about that. And then Nick Spielman talking to the referee and saying, that was a, that was a definite foul. Yeah, that, that was, was Alexander a, Ramos. Obviously, yeah. the uh, the home fans here are going to feel that yeah, that was a foul. Yeah, watch this again. Watch this. He tries to take Boy. the ball out his hand. Yeah, that's, <laughs> uh, that's a car defense. He should get a yellow car for that. So. The LA Force bench on their feet talking to the fourth official and complaining. <laughs> Definitely an argument to be made. Yeah. I mean, we expect, you know, a bit of aggression, but not, uh, not that much. <laughs> Dixon tried to gather that up. CFC keeps it moving in the direction they would like, but the intercept made by the Force. Now they're on the move. Los Angeles. Could have a chance here, sending this outside. Crossing ball is Stillman cleared away. That one. Yep. Chattanooga getting ready to make the substitution. Roddy Green about to come on. Number 19. He will replace Taylor Gray on the left wing. So we'll have Roddy Green, number 19, up 
front with Marcus Nagelstadt and Damien Rodriguez. Here he comes onto the field. And uh, Taylor Gray leaving by the far side. So, fresh legs, fresh striker. Can Roddy Green make that impact he's well known for late in the game? Boy, all tied up on the far side. The official sends up the flag. There looked like Rodriguez was tied up with Sanchez. Throw in coming here, Simon. Headed up along the touchline and again finding its way out of play. Yep. Immediately another yep. throw in for the force. Yeah, the VIP fans getting a really good look at all that one. There's a lot of action on their side. Simon, I'm sensing some more octane here. I am too. The fresh legs are making a difference, I think. Force taking their time with this one. Sent across to the far side of the pitch by Yona Pineda. Pineda regathers this one. Sends it over to Ramos. Long ball, hoping to get this inside to a teammate, but pushed away, away again by Spielman. Yeah, Nick Spielman, it's just been a having a, machine. Having a great game. Yep, really good game. Throw it. Back towards midfield. Force here in the 89th minute. Another long ball. Two Still. players going up to greet that with a header. And cleared away by Gonzalez. Rainbow yep. kick. Chuck Nigger throw on the near side. One runner was saying, go up, go up. He's pushed in to go up and keep moving. Boy, I'll tell you what, I'm a big fan of Rod Underwood. Oh, yeah. He, absolutely. We did talk to him before the game, didn't we? And he's just Mr. Calm. <laughs> he's know. not like, he should be like, pulse rate way up there with the game about to start. And he's just like, yeah, everything's good. <laughs> I mean, I don't need my coaches to be banging their head on the lockers or shouting or oh, throwing sure, stuff. Oh, sure, sure. But man, he is very calm. He's like, just he like is the epitome cool, of a calm coach. Chalk as a cucumber, as we say at home. And what a nice guy. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Always, always got time for us and everybody else. And, yep. We're in the 90th minute here. Yep, Chattanooga with a free kick. That's McGrath with a free kick. Let's see how much extra time we get. Yeah. LA Force coaching staff talking the fourth official like uh, I'm happy and that slips away from that to grass just uh, a little bit a few tired legs there. let's see how much extra time we get wait for that fourth official to put his board up two minutes only only two minutes extra time the throw in to Ferrier right there well, that doesn't give uh, as much time for that extra goal let's see what happens send back to the minder he'll get him started Time winding quickly here in the scenic city. LA Force looking to equalize this contest here in extra time. All the fans up on their feet, very excited about this. Over the midfield stripe, Ramos with it. Pressure there for him, Deferia along the touchline. Looking inside on the cross ball. Gonzalez out to greet yep, this, and it too goes long. past him. Kevin just lets it ride. He knows it's going out. He lets it go. So, a bit more. Time management, shall we call it, from uh, Chattanooga. <laughs> Gonzalez certainly going to take his time. <laughs> yeah, and the referee's watching them, but if it's, you know, fans in good voice cheering the team on the last few seconds of the game to go. Gonzalez with a bomb down the field, headed up along the touchline there. Throw in coming from the force. Yeah. They might get one more chance with it here, Simon. And Chattanooga might get one too. Let's see. <laughs> Force on the move quickly over the midfield stripe. Long feed looking for Sanchez there. Couldn't hook up. Pineda moves it across. James right there. Just over the touchline. Dixon deked out. Force centering it up to Pineda here. He goes across to the back side over to Oliveira. Dixon blocks it out for a throw in on the far side. That crosses the touch line. Oh, and there's a yellow card, I think, for the time wasting. Back inside, LA Force. 
There's a blast, and Dixon gets in the way of this one. Another throw in coming quickly. Time just about has to be out here. Just about. This one headed away by Dixon as well. Richard Dixon's head must be hurting. Dixon <laughs> clears it. Man, what an effort by him. And he goes down. It's like a foul given there. Yep. Nope. No, referee blows time. That's it, folks. There you go. Chattanooga 3, LA Force 2. A great win from Chattanooga. Your HHM added time will expire. 3 to 2, the final score. Chattanooga Football Club overcoming the LA Force. Well, what a game, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. It was edge of the seat stuff all the way through. So. 3-2, all the goals in the first half. Marcus Nagels down with the first one in the seventh minute. And then uh, two in two minutes from LA Force. Just caught us out so fast. They were amazing. Alex McGrath getting the equalizer in the 33rd minute. And then the winner, it turns out to be Ian Cero in the 45th minute. And all leveled in the second half. And just what a game. Tons of pressure, tons of excitement. I really thought there was more goals than that. But it turns out to be a win for Chattanooga 3-2. And LA Force go home to the West Coast, unfortunately, empty-handed. There you go. Simon, uh, fantastic contest here today. There's Mark Snagglestap. There's that great replay of him. <laughs> Still defending that golden boot. And there's that first header. Just past Kevin Gonzalez. I mean, that's stretched hand. And again, suddenly, very quickly, it sneaks in at the near post. You don't see many goals like that. That's just a great goal. Then suddenly, Chattanooga not sitting back. Taylor Gray pips it across the six-yard box. Alex McGrath just redirects it back of the net. Puts us back into the game. And finally, here's this last goal. Brett Jones keeps it in play. <laughs> Ian Serro comes unattached, really, in the middle. Nobody's near him. He just bangs it into the back of the net. And Ian Serro's the man with the winner. There you go. That what will wrap up our coverage here today of Nisa Soccer for our entire crew. Simon Neal, I'm Gabriel Shry, wishing you a wonderful evening from here on top of Finley Stadium for your final score as a Chattanooga Football Club victory, 3-2.